I need you to think the same way. When you start to feel a little pain, when you start to feel a little uncomfortable, when you start to feel a little tired, when you start to feel a little stressed, a little overwhelmed, keep pushing, keep grinding, keep going, because that's when it really counts. When you reach that point that most others would stop, that's when you keep going and engage in positive self-talk, just like the little engine that could. Tell yourself over and over again, I know I can, I know I will, I know I can, I know I will. It's not over until I succeed. It's not over until I win, because stopping right now is absolutely not an option. That diploma is mine. That degree is mine. That job is mine. That business is mine. The next level awaits. And once I get past all of the streets, bypasses, and highways of adversity, misfortune, bad luck, hardship, misery, and heartbreak, I will arrive at my destination of gold because all of that pressure transformed that lump of coal that used to be me into a diamond. Now that's the mindset of a champion. That's the mindset of a winner. That's the mindset of an overcomer. And above all else, that's the mindset of a graduate. David Bly said, Striving for success without hard work is like trying to harvest a crop when you haven't planted. So today, I need you to take hard work out for a date. And before you know it, you're in a phenomenal relationship with success that one day will lead to an incredible marriage to greatness. So never forget, hard work pays off. So stay dedicated, be persistent, remain positive, dream big, and conquer any and every obstacle that you ever face. This is a great day to win. You're nervous, you're scared, you're worried and you don't know what's gonna happen. It may seem like things aren't going to get better. It may seem like all of the days, the weeks, the months are all merging into one and it seems like you can't make a difference between one day and the next. It may seem like these things are not going to get better, like the world will be forever changed, like things won't be different. It may seem like we're losing so much, and part of that may be true, but we are also gaining. We're gaining perspective. We're gaining appreciation. We're gaining understanding. We're gaining hope. We're gaining connection, even if it is just through a screen. We're gaining trust. We are gaining support. We are gaining presence with the people in our lives and people that we don't even know. We're gaining love for people that we've never met, and we're gaining community with people that we have not and maybe will not ever meet. Through the stress, through the anxiety, through the worry, through the frustration, through the anger, through the fear, we will become stronger. 
We will become better. We will become this altered version of ourselves that has a deeper understanding for what's possible, that has a deeper appreciation for the people in their lives. We will become more connected. We will have a deeper appreciation for life than we have ever had before. Even if things get worse, we are stronger than anything that can happen to us. We are bigger than any circumstances and any challenges that are put in our way. We are bigger than our biggest problem. We are more resilient than any virus. We can outlast any threat. We are more courageous than any enemy that we have ever and will ever face. We are better together. We are stronger together. We are more of what we are actually able to be together. And we will outlast. We will come out of this better than we started, but we will not come out of this better just by doing nothing. We must raise the bar. We have to raise the game. Raise your will. Raise your energy. Raise your standards. Raise your commitment to the things that you want to create. Raise your commitment to your life. Raise your kindness. Raise your patience. Raise your willingness to be a part of the solution. Raise your courage. Raise your compassion. Raise your drive. Look at what you're doing every single day. What habits are you holding on to? What things do you keep on doing that you know that you shouldn't? What new habits do you want to build that you know will make you a better version of yourself? What habits do you want to get rid of? What new decisions do you need to make? And what decisions do you need to leave behind? How are you going to come out of this better than when you started? Wake up early, put time and energy and effort into the things that matter. Give time to the people that matter. Put in real effort, do more than you think you should. Do more than what is asked of you. Go the extra mile. Push yourself beyond what you thought that you were capable of. Add more value to every situation, in school, in your relationships, and in your life. But even just setting goals is not enough. Writing down your goals, writing down what you want is not enough. Why? Because we do not take actions based on the goals that are written down. We do not take action based on what is on our vision board. We take action based on the way that we feel. And the number one way to overcome that, the way that we jump over that hurdle is one thing, is to take action regardless of how you are feeling. The one way to overcome the feelings that hold us back, the feelings of being unmotivated, the feelings of being lazy, the feelings like we're not good enough, that we can't do that thing, is to take action.